welcome back to the channel guys. So this week we've got a battle report inspired by the one hour war games book and we've amalgamated that with uh, parts of black powder. If you haven't already please like and subscribe otherwise let's get into it. So the mission today is a static defense. The blue player has to hold the town and or the hill to the north of the map and the defend uh, sorry the attacker the gray player the confederates have to basically occupy one of those two by the end so a major victory is to occupy both uh, and that's for either player a minor victory is if the attacker occupies one of them so it's gonna be a tricky one we rolled off to see what forces both players would have and the attacker rolled to get 10 bases and the defender eight so there's a slight advantage to the attacker in numbers so I was playing as the attacker um, I had to focus I figured on one or the other rather than splitting my forces and I was going to make a beeline for the hilltop just because he started off with more troops on the other side and I had quite a large cavalry detachment so I could always depending on how he responded to my movements uh, send them to try and occupy the village so turn one there were a couple of artillery shots but it was just movement really nothing too major turn two again i pushed forwards and positioned my artillery on the right wing to start blasting the town whilst my left wing gun concentrated on the hill cavalry pushed forwards uh, they were just trying to screen the army slightly at this stage Union forces came out from the town, which is what I expected they would do. Um, but at this stage, I wasn't sure what their plan was. So we've got a rule which we've come up with. So every turn that, uh, so every time that a unit gets shot at, and they take casualties, we roll a d20. And on a 1, if there's an attached commander, the commander's killed outright. And on a 2, 3 or a 4, he takes a point of damage. If it's an army commander, he can take 3 points of damage before he's killed. Um, if it's a brigade commander, slash colonel, uh, they can take 2 points of damage before they're killed. Um, so, yeah, it adds that extra little bit of uh, risk into the fray, which we quite enjoy. So the, the hilly outcrop for the Union they were starting to get quite a few shots down onto my advancing troops and he was bringing up his cavalry in quick time to try and cut me off so that I couldn't get onto the hill so turn four I managed to get my skirmishers into the central woods at last so they were going to go through and start peppering his troops. Um, they, were, they were an expendable unit so I didn't worry too much about them. My artillery was now concentrating on his troops in the town just in case I wished to switch to them. And in an unexpected turn he sent his cavalry straight into the centre. Um, my cavalry had moved to try and engage him but hadn't had enough movement and so then in his turn he bypassed them and went for the larger block which I wasn't expecting. But would it be enough to stop my inevitable advance? <laughs> Only time would tell. Other than that, my infantry columns kept marching forwards, although they were taking quite heavy artillery fire. And his troops, he had to leave two units garrisoning the town, or two units garrisoning the hill. The rest were free to move. So turn five, whilst the artillery fired away both left and right, he brought his gun up into the centre as well. My skirmishers moved through the forest and had started to engage his infantry that were coming across. And I was able to engage his commander but didn't cause any casualties. It was with the cavalry where I decided I would charge him straight away, um, try and maintain that initiative. And with my second unit on themselves, they just charged straight at the infantry in the open. I wasn't sure if it was going to work because they were going to get blasted by the canister from that artillery piece. But it was worth the risk. So they overran the infantry, although they were severely smashed pieces. 
the cavalry versus cavalry duel, I did beat him, and I almost captured his army commander, but he managed to run for it just in the nick of time. The skirmishers were engaging uh, on all sides, uh, so it was definitely turn six in my favour. Turn seven, my troops were still plodding forwards. It's a long, long advance to get to that position. So my cannons were trying to uh, soften him up a little bit. But in return, I was taking a lot of casualties. My cavalry in the centre, they started to try and swing round now more towards... Um, where his artillery piece was. It was always going to be a risk because they were going to take grape shots, canister shot at close range, but I had to take that gun out to be able to uh, control the battlefield. Up until this point, the guns were the main players. My cavalry dismounted and decided they would try and take the town, but they'd already been, they'd lost so many troops, they weren't going to last long. And my skirmishers decided they would go for the village as well. Turn 8 saw my troops, my infantry starting to form, fan out into lines because they were almost in musket range. He brought his troops back up onto the hill to try and make a nice defensive position which was going to cost me dearly to take. At this range we were at close range so every shot was raking up the kills and my morale levels were going down and down. On the village side of the battlefield, my cavalry were... I'd broken one of his regiments who were running, and then my cavalry decided they would try and finish them off. The dismounted cavalry moved into the village, but weren't able to do much. At this stage he decided he would withdraw back into the corner pocket, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, so I was trying to pince a movement him, so he made a good move there. But unfortunately for him, a lucky cannonball shot from mine took his commander out, his army commander, and with that, all the morale on the far side collapsed. But despite that, over in the village they were unaware of this, and so they kept fighting, and uh, basically fought to the last man. They did a very good job. I would say man of the match would have to go to his dismounted cavalry, or skirmishers who were holding that town, because they held out for a heck of a long time. Um, it was a very bloody game, that's for sure. Although I won, um, I had started with more troops, but I think probably casualties were, if not equal, I may probably have taken more casualties in my advance. But really fun game. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.